Welcome to the channel, Josh Gordon Music. Check out this grammatical Lagrange preset I have for you. Welcome back here. Now, this preset is basically blues, blues rock oriented for sure. Would it work for hard rock or any forms of other music? Maybe if you tweak it, I don't know. Definitely meant for blues. And single coil P90 guitar here, this beautiful Yamaha Revstar 2 standard. So single coil in mind, but try it with humbuckers. And as always, with any preset you get, you're probably going to have to tweak it because it's most likely not going to sound the same on your system with your gear and whatnot. All right, but if you are interested in this preset, you can find the link below in the description box to download it for free in the custom tone area on the Line 6 website. So we have two channels. We have clean. We have drive, of course. Um, I have kinky boost in the mix as an optional fattening uh, tool. We have a lead volume boost on the output. Elephant man for delay. Uh, we're using a 63 spring reverb and to get our dirt tone we're using a compulsive overdrive i guess the ocd pedal for the fullerton or full tone sorry and in conjunction with that we're using the dedicated eq block to tone shape and we have parameter switches on the amp uh, as we can see right here i have three and uh, between drive master and channel volume that's what we're using to try and get unity gain and to get our clean and drive so um let's go through it and we'll do some playing along the way all right so uh if i can get there here so left to right on the input always knows noise gain especially with single coils uh for sure i've put a colorful wah if i can get to that i'll just put the pick down maybe that'll be easier for the clicking here okay a colorful wah and as I said, we have Kinky Boost, and I've assigned that to foot switch four, the bottom left. And I have this for fattening. Um, and it's very subtle fattening. So I'm going to turn it off, and we're going to play clean, and we'll keep the delay on. So here's some clean on its own. So I think it gives it a nice little, you know, it's not overdriving it too much. It's just giving it a little, little more girth, a little more fatness, just, to, you know, make it stand out a little more. All right. So moving right along again, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, compulsive drive for our drive. So why don't we put that on? So I did some switching between the clean and the drives because I think this amp is very good with getting a, making it a two-channel amp because the unity gain is pretty close here. Like I saw, find with some of these amps, they're just maybe naturally a little more high gain and it's harder to make it into a two-channel amp if that's what you're looking for. But this, yeah, Grammatical uh, NRM, I guess, normal channel. Very, very nice. Very nice so far. So that's, that's my dirt. And... Um, 
mono effects loop. We can't get rid of it. You just leave it, slap a pedal in here if you want. So the amp itself, I briefly touched on like the volume uh, difference here, but yeah, we have drive, channel volume and master all working together to make this channel switching happening. So when it's clean, volume is all the way up, the channel volume is up and drive and master go down. And I wanted to mention something about the drives. You see here, there's drive norm and drive bright. You'll see I have drive bright at zero. Well, with playing around with this, if you slide this, it makes no difference. So maybe with the grammatical bright, that's probably a difference. I haven't investigated that amp yet, but um, anyways, didn't need it on. But basically that's it. You know, if you see my other videos, that's what I do. I use the, you know, I have parameter assignments here between drive, channel volume and master. Okay, so let's move along to the cabinet. So I wanted to go with a matching cabinet so the 112 grammatical with the i don't know if it i don't think it defaulted to the 57 dynamic but this time i thought this was the right mic choice and i didn't really move it too much just put you know move a little round until i i hear a nice clear sound that i like and add a little little low cut and a little high cut there not by much and again i said the 10 band graphic eq that's working with um the drive and again that's for tone shaping because I am personally, I'm never completely happy with the drives in any modeler, not not just the Podco. So I, I like, you know, give it a little help, give it a little sweetening. You know, it's just like having some extra EQ knobs on your amp or something. Delay. Uh, if I can click on that, Elephant Man. Uh, usually, you know me. I, know, I just did a video about it, the simple delay. That's my favorite. But I felt, uh, let's try something else. You know, and I, I do like the Elephant Man, even though I think the maximum time you can do on it, because uh, I like having the time in milliseconds. Uh, that's the that's the thing I use most uh, with that that parameter. But it only goes up to five hundred. And sometimes I like more. Uh, but in this case, I thought it was nice touch. So, anyways, you can see all the parameters here, and it's, again, have a little ambient setting. And um, here we we'll put that pick down. The 63 spring reverb, there you go. Um, not much there, tell you. Uh, volume pedal at the end and the out output boost. Let's let's test that boost. Let's do the lead boost. And I just kept it just a more, I usually like three and a half for a live situation, sure. But for the for this demo, I dropped it to two and a half. So we don't, we don't clip too much. So there it is, Blues Rock preset using the Grammatical NRM amp, so the Grammatical Lagrange, very nice amp, definitely great for two channel capabilities. And if you're looking for something for like that blues, Texas blues sound, hopefully this preset will do it for you. And again, description box below, link where you can download this for free from the custom tone area on the uh, Line 6 website. Thanks for watching appreciate you all checking out my channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.